build an iconic, magnetic and memorable brand, you need to create an impact with your audience. You can do this singly through say your messaging, your design, your positioning, your strategy, but the brands that utilize this the best actually bring this in cohesively across everything they do. There is a lot of talk about brand storytelling and most of the time people see this as being a literal historical story about the company. And this is so far from the truth and often a big misconception that a lot of people have. Your brand can tell multiple stories through different mediums and in different ways to use in different situations, whether it's a sales conversation, whether it's a marketing campaign, or whether it's a pitch to an investor. But when utilizing brand storytelling, Make sure you treat it as though you are writing a play or a film and you have props, you have characters, you have a narrative and you have a 360 approach to your brand storytelling. Create theatre with your brand, with your audience as the main character in that story. Here are five steps to creating a great experience and a theatrical brand that can take your audience on a narrative journey. Number one, know your genre. Now this might seem obvious, but it's really important to understand the tropes and the conventions that are part of the industry that you're in. The reason for that, so you can either play off them and subvert expectations with regards to that industry, or you can do it better and more creatively in a different way to your competition. An example of this is street theater. So they live and die by the ability to attract passers-by into a story keep them there to watch that story. The same thing applies whenever a member of your ideal target audience encounters your brand. A great example of this is Dollar Shave Club and how they position themselves against the established industry in brands like Gillette and used humour and subverting expectations to really engage their audience in a creative way. Number two, set the stage. So effective storytelling sets the stage for the story to exist in. Now it might do this by outlining motivations for the main character, foreshadowing future events, or use symbolic props and backdrops to help the audience feel part of that narrative. Your brand can do the same by setting the stage for your audience across all touch points of your brand in a consistent and focused way to help your audience feel part of that story. Number three, know your characters. So as we've already said, you know, understanding your audience's motivations is crucially important to writing a very good story. So understanding that motivation, what is holding them back, what problem you're trying to solve, can really help you to craft a story that connects with them, but also helps you to craft a brand enemy or a brand villain. And if you talk to your audience's problems, needs, solutions, where they're headed, where you're helping to take them, what their aspirational identity is, you're creating this bond and you're treating them as the hero and you as the guide. And what you're doing is creating empathy between you and your audience. And it allows you to engage them and resonate with them in a way that maybe your competition currently aren't. A great example of this, knowing your characters and crafting a brand villain, is the Snickers campaigns, You're Not You When You're Hungry, which is a great example of how they created this narrative where the audience was the hero in the story and when they're hungry, they become someone else the villain is hunger. Number four, create conflict. Now nothing will motivate your audience quite so much as a well-crafted brand villain. Now the shape that your brand villain takes can be anything from a competing brand to the ideals that you and your audience hold dear and what the ideals position against. So what are the things that are the opposite of that? It can even be down to a methodology and a framework and the op opposing to that methodology and framework or you can just personify a problem or an issue that your audience is already having. By creating this brand villain and bringing in this conflict, what you do is you give your audience something to fight for or fight against, and it's something they are probably already facing, but it gives them this ability to feel like they can overcome that and allow them to be the main hero of this story. And also, as humans, we're loss averse. So if you don't have any conflict or there's no stakes, in the story that is your, is your brand, then your audience really won't engage with it, they won't care about it, and they won't feel the need to embark on a journey with your brand. A great example of this is the Nike's Dream Crazy campaign, which the conflict was that society and your own limitations are the things that hold you back. So you're not dreaming crazy enough. It was a 
great example of a campaign creating this conflict and giving people this inspiring passion to want to do more. Another good example is the Apple versus PC adverts of the 90s. There was conflict in that. It was done very subtly and it was done very well. And Apple positioned themselves against uh, the PC in such an effective way by using little bits of conflict along the journey. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video so far and let us know in the comments what brand do you think tells the best story? Let us know in the comments below. Number five, create a world that your audience wants to be in. A great brand story will allow your audience to escape and think about aspirational ideas and who they want to be and who they want to become. A great way of doing this is by world building. So every TV show you see, every film you see, every book you read, they go through the process of world building. So you have the core narrative and then you have the world built around it. And actually effective brand storytelling is no different. You have the core narrative, but you build a world for that narrative to live in. And if you can do that, you can create a really engaging, magnetic experience for your audience. A great example of this is Disney, the happiest place on earth. So Disney have created a narrative around that idea of the happiest place on earth and they've built the world that that lives in in such a way that every experience you have with Disney makes you think of that, that happiness, the wonder, the joy, the transformation. It's a magical place and they work really hard to craft the world that, that narrative lives in. Bonus number six, make the world dynamic. The key to creating a highly dynamic and immersive world is through the way your audience will experience it. The same goes for building a brand. Nothing says flat and dull more than just a consistent, sales-driven, one-way conversation. Your job is to make the experience of interacting with your brand as exciting and engaging as possible. So now you've got six ways to tell great stories about your brand. But how effective is your brand already and what is holding it back? Well, if you're interested to find out, we have a four-minute assessment that will take you through a few questions across everything from marketing to your visual identity to your brand strategy and your personality and it'll give you a customized report that will tell you where you're strong where you're weak and how you can improve and if you're interested in that there is a link in the description below if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more please subscribe videos come out weekly and they're designed to help you unlock your brand's potential so you can stand out from the competition and grow your business have a great week catch up soon and keep those brands unified Thank you.